What's going on guys? I'm Jaron here with Dr. J.D. Romick, physical therapist here at Apex Performance Wellness and Rehab. We want to come to you today, uh, both being former athletes, not just people that work here and around the building at Apex, uh, but as former athletes, uh, last night's event with Kevin Durant going down with what seems to be an Achilles rupture, uh, something that's coming up more and more in sports. So since we work with a lot of young athletes and active adults, we want to talk about how we can uh, address it, decrease the risk of injury for this, and then if you do have this injury, what you can do uh, going forward. So first off, J.D., what's an Achilles rupture? First of all, what's an Achilles? Yeah, so the Achilles tendon is a thick band of tendon that runs from your calf and your soleus, so three muscles, two heads of the calf and the soleus, down to your heel. So basically what it does is it points your toe like this. It also holds a lot of energy, so when you are playing a sport or trying to be explosive, it can really propel you forward, so. And then if you have an Achilles rupture, what's the timetable, what's the pr protocol procedure look like for that? Yeah, so there's kind of a timeline with the Achilles tendon. Uh, there's a lot of different types of surgery, different protocols depending on who your surgeon is, but it can be a recovery, a lengthy recovery, anywhere from six months to nine months to a year to over a year. Uh, it just really depends on how severe the tear and if it's a full rupture, meaning the tendon is completely torn or a partial rupture. Okay, and it's been coming up a lot. Uh, being a former NFL player, I know it's come up a lot uh, with some of my former teammates and other guys in the NFL even today. Obviously, we just saw what happened uh, to Kevin Durant, so star players are not immune uh, to something like this. Um, we've talked about how it is prevalent in runners, uh, we see it in soccer players. Uh, so point being, all athletes, people that are pushing and moving your body out there, you might be susceptible to this injury. But what are some things that you can do to decrease your risk for something like this? So decreasing risk uh, is really hard. So things that put you at risk, usually men over the age of 35 are more prone to tearing them for some reason. Um, but having a decreased dorsiflexion range of motion, which is just bending your ankle up, if that's really tight, typically you're at a higher risk. Uh, if you gain weight, if you're obese, have type 2 diabetes or any other types of disease. Um, but a lot of times in sports, it's due to, uh, it can be a, a decreased range of motion, like I said, but sometimes uh, inadequate training. So if you're resting for four weeks and then you come back to playing at a super high level, it can definitely increase your risk. Weekend warriors see it a lot. So those that don't train during the week at all and then go out and play. So you've said the time frame uh, before about surgery, what it looks like getting that procedure done. Uh, what do people expect along that way? Because you know, you've had an ACL surgery, I've had two different knee surgeries, stress fracture surgery. Surgery is just a dark place to go through sometimes mentally and it sounds like a dark and ominous path that you feel alone on. Right. Talk a little bit about the recovery process for these folks yeah. that have the surgery. Yeah, so typically um, some people, if they're not going back to a sport, don't even get it repaired. But if you're going back to a high level play like Katie or any other athlete, um, that nine months to a year time frame is uh, it's not uncommon. So throughout that whole process, you really have to protect the Achilles tendon after it's been repaired so you don't overstretch it initially, because then it won't have any of that explosive energy, because you can think of it like a spring. If the spring is stretched out, it's not gonna have very much explosiveness. So for a while you have to wait and you have to um, kind of immobilize the foot and then over time you can gently start stretching then you can get into some controlled movements and then into some more explosive movements back to return to play so it takes a while it takes a while well uh, if you have any of these symptoms coming up if you're nervous about any lingering tightness anything like that or just have some questions about uh, what you can do to prevent an Achilles injury or any injury, uh, feel free to give us a call over here at Apex Performance Wellness and Rehab. Stay in touch with us on social media at Apex PWR, and you can always reach out via email if you prefer that team at Apex PWR. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, guys.